Ska jag sova? Ja! Jag har tid till sen. Tonight I'm going to tie for you John Barr's Slump Buster. Uh, what I have in the vise is a TMC 5263. It's a 3XL streamer hook. And I've got a large copper cone that's at the eye of the hook. And I'm going to use for thread, I've got UTC 70. And it's colored olive. And I'm going to wrap the thread all the way down to the bend of the hook. And then back up to the 80% point of the hook, shaft, hook shank. I d discovered this this fly at the end of last year, which was 2013, and I just tied up a, bunch, a few of them, and I had the opportunity to use them this Father's Day weekend. And I have to say that this fly is a great producer. It is probably the best streamer that I can that I've fished, and it's uh, caught me lots of trout and lots of largemouth bass. And uh, it went through the it was the weeds were kind of high in places I was fishing, and it went right through them and didn't have any whole lot of problems with um, snagging weeds or anything. It just went through them and did did great. Once I get to the 80% point of the hook shank, I'm gonna grab some peacock sparkle braid. I'm gonna tie that in with a few few wraps of thread here. And then I'm gonna get it out of the way. And I got some ultra wire, uh, chartreuse and size brazy and I'll tie that in just like I did the sparkle braid and I'm gonna take that all the way to the back of the all the way to the bend of the hook and you don't need to make them particularly tight um, tight wraps just get it up to the bend of the hook if you don't make them tight wraps it's easier when you wrap the peacock I mean the, the uh, sparkle braid to keep it um, so you're not, you're not covering so much all of thread. And when we get to this, get the thread back to the bend of the hook, we're going to take a strip of squirrel, um, a squirrel strip. And this is an olive color squirrel strip. And what we're going to do is we're going to measure these, what I've done here is I've measured the squirrel strip. And I want from the, for the tail, I want it to be the length of the hook shank. And so I, I'm going to pull the fibers back on the, the tag end, so it's kind of got a V there. And I'm going to take that where that that the point of that V. I'm going to put it over the bend of the hook, and then I'm going to wrap the thread, a couple, few wraps of thread around that uh, point, like so. One, two. This is the third one. I'll do one more for good measure. And then I'm going to pull the the uh, squirrel strip back. I'm going to bring my thread and just really quickly wrap it up to the um, 80% to the 80 percent point of the hook. And then I'm going to take my sparkle braid and I'm going to wrap it around the back behind the tail, underneath the tail of the hook. And then I'm going to bring it to the front and underneath the butt end of the fly of the squirrel strip. And then I'm going to continue wrapping that sparkle braid around the um, hook shank until I get to that 80% point. This is where I said to um, make those, the thread loose wraps around the, not loose wraps, but not, not evenly tight wraps around the um, hook shank when you're doing the thread around the sparkle braid. Because so as you're doing this, you can see how we want to keep it so we can, if, if there's some gaps in there, we won't see the olive thread, we'll see sparkle braid underneath it. And we're just going to keep wrapping that around the hook shank until we get to the 80% point. Uh, this is a size hook, size 4 hook by the way. Um, John Barr typically ties it in uh, size 4 to 12. And then we're going to wrap our thread around the sparkle braid, give it a few good wraps, and trim it. When you trim the sparkle braid, you just use an old pair of scissors so you don't dull your other ones. Um,
kind of a different material and I just prefer to use old scissors so it doesn't dull my, my good scissors. And now I'm going to fold this, the squirrel, squirrel strip back to the over the hook shank and I'm going to find the point where the sparkle braid ends and it should be about the 80% point of the hook and I'm going to put my bodkin right there for the thread, the fur and divide it like we did earlier and have that V and then I'm going to take my thread and bring it around to the around a few times around that particular spot like so and then I'm going to take my wire, ultra wire, and we're going to rib this whole thing with the, the squirrel strip and the peacock, I mean the, the uh, sparkle braid, we're going to rib it. And to do that, we've got to make a multiple V's as we go, we go around it. And so we're going to wrap this. Start there. Around. Pull that back, and we're gonna do it again. Okay, and then we'll do it again. Just kind of like evenly space those wraps with wraps of wire. Again, this adds some durability to the fly. One or two more, that should be good. Okay. Like so. And one more in between them. And then I'm going to wrap it right where that V where I put it above, where I put the thread wrap around the um, st squirrel strip. Okay, and now I'm going to take my thread, I'm going to go through and tie that down a few wraps of thread and then hold on to the I'm gonna hold on to the bobbin and I'm gonna twist that until it breaks. Twist the wire till it breaks. There we go. Okay. I'm gonna put a few more wraps of thread in there. Just make sure everything's secured nice and solid. Okay. I'm going to fold my the tag end of this squirrel strip back again. I'm going to bring it all bring a good put a good uh, layer of thread. I'm going to bring it to the back of the bead and then I'm going to wrap my squirrel strip around the hook shank and palmer it back as I'm doing it. You'd be amazed. Actually I need to do something else first. We need to put some super glue in the back back of that bead. So I got my super glue. This is just uh, Loctite super glue and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the bead and fold it up, 
fold it up so I can see it and I'm just going to put some super glue right inside there. Just doesn't take much and then I'm going to put the lid back on it obviously and then uh, now we'll wrap the squirrel strip around the hook shank. Just palmering it back I'll bring it back. And even when you're up there, you can still fit a couple of the uh, wraps of squirrel in there. That's probably about what I'm going to get right there. And then I'm going to tie that off. And I'm going to trim that, trim the hide on that squirrel strip. And I'm going to put some thread in there. And John Barr doesn't do a whip finish on this. He just throws the super glue on it, calls it good, which it works. And he's hadn't had any problem with it coming untied, but I just feel a little more at ease if I put a whip finish on it. So I'm going to do that. I like to do a couple of whip finishes. You don't have a whole lot of time to 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 mess with all this because the super glue dries pretty quick, but you do have a little bit. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our bead and we're just gonna push it as far as hard as we can up in there, and that will secure everything down tightly for the fly. And there it is. Let's uh, I'll move the vise a little bit so we can see the whole thing. Well, I guess we won't be able to see the whole thing, but we'll see pretty close. Um, that is the slump buster. Thank you for watching. Uh, this, please remember to like us on like Fish Baits Flybox on fa Facebook, and to subscribe to fishbaitsflybox.com, and subscribe by email and to the website. Thank you for watching.